Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Tommy Boy. It's a movie starring the late, great Chris Farley, David Spade, a little Rob Lowe, a little bit of a couple of other people, but those are the main ones. So as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start with the furry, there is a rather notable appearance of a deer. Also bees. Moving on to the good and the bad. <laughs> so this movie came out in 1995, around there, and... I think that was right around either during or shortly after their time on SNL. So they had a really good rapport going. And this movie was just, it's a buddy comedy movie that just puts those two together. And it's fantastic. What I will say is that re-watching this from whenever the last time was that I did watch it, I noticed that, like, so David Spade's character is a sarcastic asshole to everybody. But there are some things that he does that don't make much sense. Like, he says some of the things that I'm sure we would all be thinking if we were at a job that we hated with bosses that we didn't like type of thing. Like, he says some of those, but he says them out loud to the people. And I just, I feel like he probably wouldn't be able to get away with some of the things he was saying to the people he was saying it to. So, uh, but for the comedy bit of, like, being able to say it out loud, I'm fine with it. I just, I don't know how much... <laughs> I was like, ah, maybe, maybe not. And then um, they also, I don't know, just just a couple of just a couple of things like that. It was just kind of like, really, um, where talking about Chris Farley's character when he first comes back, they make a big thing about everybody being like, hey, Tommy boy, you're back. Hey, Tommy, Tommy, yeah, it's great to see you, and all the fun thing, like everybody loving him. And then like the second. Um, this is like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, 20 minutes into the film, so I'm not going to call this a spoiler, but like the second that he has to take over the company for whatever reason, like then there's this asshole guy who's part of the workers and is just like shitting all over Tommy Boy for being an idiot. And then like everybody else either doesn't say anything or doesn't contradict that guy or like some of them ha 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 along with him. And it's just like, wait, I thought everybody loved you. And now, and now this guy is the voice of everybody that's working for you. Like, did you love him or did you not love him? Like, Come on, you got you got to decide, because if he's gone to college for almost 10 years, like, you've got to know that eventually he's going to be taking over the company, and if you still think he's an idiot, what, like, he's going to take over the company at some point. you gotta, you got to choose, man. I don't know. So that seemed a little off, but it was fine, because I actually kind of liked the storyline overall. It was fun to see the changes that occurred for Tommy Boy as the story progressed, and I didn't really remember like a fun story so much as just the really really funny meme comedy bits where it's like not so much here or here but right here and that sort of thing and like oh that'll really help the resale out you know just a lot of very quotable lines are great but it actually has a pretty decent storyline too and speaking of decent storyline it was so it was weird to see rob lowe as a bad guy because i'm so used to seeing him on parks and rec where he is the opposite of a bad guy. So it was it was so weird to see him as that. Like, he did a good job, but it was just weird to see him as that. Um, so overall, I still think that this movie is funny. It's not, it's not a laugh every second, but it's a fun comedy starring Chris Farley. So if you like Chris Farley's antics on SNL or in his other movies, you're going to like him here. And if you like David Spade's voice being a sarcastic asshole... Uh, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with him, if you've seen Emperor's New Groove, he's the voice of the Emperor. So if you liked that attitude, but IRL, here's here's where it's at. Cool? So yeah, I think it's a fun time. I think it's worth a watch. It's fun. And you should definitely watch this one first before watching Black Sheep. Just throwing that out there. I think you should watch this one first before watching Black Sheep. Uh, but that's really all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye!